Okay, so welcome back to the Revit Project Tutorials. This is the very last uh, tutorial in this set and in this series. And it probably is the quickest as well. This tutorial will deal with primarily just printing your working set to a PDF file for submission. Now, if you're doing this in the labs, it's relatively easy because the uh, uh, PDF printer is already set up. Um, if you're doing it from home, then you will need to make sure that you have that printer set up on your computer. Now, the first thing you need to do is just to go up to the R symbol here, click on it and go straight down to print. And we're just going to go to the print option. Now here I've got the Adobe PDF set up. You may have a different uh, uh, PDF uh, generating printer. Um, whatever it is, as long as it generates the PDF. And you can find quite a few on the web if you don't have one on your computer. Now, uh, in the next option where it says File, we want to combine all our sheets together in one single file, so we don't want separate files. This is really important because you will be submitting just one file. Now, make sure you browse to a location um, which will um, keep your uh, PDF file, so make sure that I'm just going to rename this. Okay, or if you're submitting it, uh, make sure you na name it after your name and your student number, like so. Um, and uh, down here, so make sure that you combine everything into a single file. Down here in the print range, you may have current window um, selected. Make sure you change it to selected views and sheets because we want to specify uh, just our sheets um, to be printed. So once you've actually selected that, click on the select button underneath that and Revit will list every single view in your project. Now scroll down until you see just your sheets. So here they are and just check all of the sheets that you want printed out. Press OK um, and Revit will probably ask you if you want to save these settings. Press yes and name it something. So this could be our submission. OK. So once that's done it might be advisable just to quickly go to the settings and check out what the setup is. Now um, this will uh, include some of the printer settings as well so it's probably very important that you go into this and have a look. Um, I can see here that the size is letter size, I don't want that, I want A1 size. Um, that's fine, the printer is fine, landscape is fine so make sure your orientation is correct. I want it to be placed right in the centre of the sheet so that's correct. Remove hidden lines um, and everything else looks fine so um, fitting to a page or um, probably best to just keep it at 100% because then you know um, it's to the correct scale. Um, and down here, because I've got a rendered view in one of my sheets, I'm going to keep it, uh, keep it as colour. Uh, if you don't, then you might want to change it to black lines. Completely up to you. Now down here in the options, this is where you can um, make sure that some things are hidden when you print it, like crop boundaries. So if you forget to turn off some of the crop boundaries, you can make sure that that's overridden here and every single crop boundary is actually hidden when it gets printed. Press OK um, and once all the settings are correct, then press OK um, and give it a location. So I've actually created a few test ones there. I'm just going to put this one on the desktop for me. Um, wait until it prints out. So here's my PDF file that's just been printed um, and once it's been printed make sure you go through each single sheet um, and check that everything's there. You might want to, if, if you've got this sort of effect, make sure that um, you go back and change the surface pattern uh, so that it doesn't appear dotted like that. So that's another thing that um, I need to change there. Um, and of course just make sure you've got annotation and dimensioning and everything. So it's probably best to do um, a couple of test prints to PDF first before you do your final one uh, for submission. So it's, it's, it's always good to do that because you'll see things 
uh, that you will want to change, um, especially when it comes to line work. You can see here, for an example, that hatching is really dense um, and I can hardly see the grid lines and the dimension lines. So it's really difficult to read that. So I'd need to go back to that material and turn off that surface pattern. Um, it's probably not correct anyway. Or bring the grid lines out um, outside of that so I can read it. Same with the dimension lines and the section symbols and any other text that I have in here. I can see also that um, the text um, over here um, could be starting to clutter a little bit with the surface pattern of the tiles um, so because there's paving out there so either the uh, text goes outside or inside or the tiles disappear or make it a different color sometimes a very light gray color is used um, for surface patterns Okay, so a couple of test prints are strongly recommended just so you can identify some of these issues, go back into your model and change it before you actually generate the final version for submission. Once you have that, save this PDF and submit it. And that's basically it.